Hi everybody, hope you're well. So today I want to show you some really cool minor modulations I stumbled across while listening to some Danny Elfman's music and I'm going to show you the concepts that go behind it, how we can apply it to make a cycle out of the progression. Also at the very end I will show you exactly where I've taken this from, so stay tuned for that. So these are the first four bars. And I think it sounds way more complex than it really is. So let's try to break it down and see if we can continue the progression by applying the very same concepts. We start with a C minor and we then go to an E flat minor, which is essentially a chromatic median with its root on the minor third of C. We then go up a major second to an F, which is um, essentially setting up the modulation to B flat minor with a five to one cadence. And the reason why all this works so smoothly is because of all the half-step motion happening in the chord tones. For example, G, the fifth of C minor, is moving down a half-step to G flat, the minor third of E flat. We then move down a half-step again to the root of F major. And then from A, we go up a half-step again to a B flat minor on its root. Also, even if the progression is not strictly diatonic, the chords are related to each other by sharing one common note that is E flat being the minor third of C minor, the tonic of E flat minor, but also the minor seventh of F. I haven't really played an F dominant in the progression before, but in this case, the seventh will be implied because as we mentioned, the function of the chord F is also setting up the modulation to the next key of B flat with a five to one cadence. Actually to be more precise, we will have a four, five, one cadence uh, diatonic in the key of B flat minor. So let's continue the progression by applying the very same concepts. Now, let me show you where I've taken this from. So it was quite clearly from Danny Elfman's uh, This is Halloween. I don't know if it's gonna be useful, but I thought it was a pretty cool little thing and I wanted to share it with you guys. Also, with this video, you might have noticed I'm trying something new, something different, so be sure to let me know how that went. That being said, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!